policewoman was loosening the red-haired prisoner's restraints. But she was attacked. She tried to fight back. She collapsed because of the pain. It turns out that Morgan and Lisa were working together outside the house. John felt something was wrong, but there was smoke coming from inside the house. He went in and opened the door to find the policewoman unconscious. The two of them have escaped through the vent. John ran outside to catch the culprits. Down the hall, he spots a red-headed woman. He ran after her and grabbed her, but he realizes it's not Morgan. It's Lisa. Morgan had already escaped with a wig. Jenny found Lisa and asked her what happened. She pretended she didn't know anything, but she was doing something else under the table. John came to Lisa's side and found her carving blood on her hand. Declaring her sovereignty, John received a survey tip from the courthouse. He analyzed it and realized that Lisa was helping Morgan. Morgan helped Morgan because he could deal with Lisa's parents. The police arrived at Lisa's house. They found two people in the bedroom. Lisa's parents, a video and a note were left at the scene. It turned out that Morgan knew that the police would come